Hey guys, Sasha from NetworkNews.com with a brand new IdeaTab S2 7 inch from Lenovo. Actually, it's the first 1.5 gigahertz dual core Scorpion Snapdragon uh, that I've been playing around with. Um, it should be a very zippy device, and as you can see, Lenovo customized Android Honeycomb 3.2.1, I guess. Let's give it a quick look. Um, where's the settings? Here we go. This is already heavily customized if you compare this to a stock uh, Android Honeycomb. So it's running 3.2. Actually, over here it's called Lepet S2. And I think we already saw some leaks from Lepet at the beginning of 2011. Um, let's go back to the home screen. And let's see. Here we go. You can see all these different kinds of widgets that Lenovo is using. Not sure if I really need this. Um, it's pretty zippy. Not too bad. Can't tell you anything about any ice cream sandwich update right now. And especially about the screen resolution. I would guess like this is 1280 by 800. Yeah. Uh, it looks it looks pretty decent. Let's take a quick look around the system. So are these buttons? This is a volume control here. I think it's a power button. And here is a, a micro USB, a mini HDMI. Um, this is a micro for a micro SD card, as far as I can. Yep. And over here, there's nothing and on the top. Oh, actually, we have the on and off button on the top. So this might be something to take pictures. Oh, look at this. This is also. Is that it right there? That's the. Watch out. I think I kind of locked it now completely. Well, oh, here we go. That is the slide to unlock. Um, that's a little bit difficult in this day. But anyways, it, 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 it's a very nice build quality. I love this kind of uh, soft rubber back of it. It feels good in your hand. It's very light. I would guess like 330, 350 grams if I compare this to a Galaxy uh, Tab Plus. Looks pretty cool. That's the new Lenovo IdeaTab S2 7-inch on Sasha for Thanks for watching.